The landing gear didn't want to come down. All right, we have ammo cans back here. It's a game called tag in the military. Holy man, you don't know where he, I mean, he just disappeared, you know? John Blanchett, owner of award-winning Red 620, and demo pilot Randy Ball are both readying their jets for the coming 2020 well, air show season. Took them down for John so that he can start greasing them. The guns during the normal year of operation. They get rust on them. Take some sandpaper and clean the rust off, and then put gluing on them, and then finish up with grease so that they will look good. I'm waiting for him to make progress with that thing up in the cockpit. Uh, steps forward and a couple steps back. Putting in a stainless tubing that will run from the factory oxygen regulator around behind the ejection seat. And then from there, the green normal hose that attaches to our um, US military's oxygen connection system. Well, if you can get a slightly smaller large one, uh, do you have that still piece of, you still have that piece of pipe to use for a test? It was in your toolbox, I think. On my toolbox? Yeah, you had left over there. It's a short piece of... Oh, that's, that's not for the big one. That's no, for that's the little for the, one. No, that's for the heat duct. I'm going to put it on an airplane. And, that, and it was a little too big, so if you found one slightly smaller, that'd be better. I am very particular about everything being uh, just so. You know, the first maneuver I do when I perform is a roll upside down. So if everything is not just perfect, it could be a bad day. They're uh, they're a little flimsier, but their rubber is nice and hard. But I mean, if it's just holding that that piece of pipe in, so. right, we have ammo cans back here. The actual gun ammo cans. Uh, we have birdshot in the bottom of them to act as a counterbalance where we took out the armor plating. They are demilitarized. They are cut and welded. The firing pin has been taken by the ATF. This is the only jet in the country that does have the full real guns. See this here? This is how it shows clockwise and counterclockwise. That's for cranking the gun carriage down, which is right here. Here's, here's the cannon right here. The one cannon on one side, two on the other side. When this plane was a C model aircraft, it would have a 37 millimeter here. This is only a 23, which is much lighter in weight. And you can see the barrel where it exits right up here at the end. And they want to load the ammo boxes, which are up here on top. See the three ammo boxes up here? They have to drop the carriage down so they can get the shells in there. In fact, it shows the original paint is on those boxes, and it shows the direction that you put the shell in. I wanted to show you the breeches welded shut inside. Wait a minute. Oh, I got it. I got it there. It's all been sealed up. There's no way that this cannon can operate. This cannon is strictly a weight. A weight. If I did not have this cannon, I'd have to substitute a weight. That thing is, that weighs hundreds of pounds, that cannon. So that shows that the routing of the, of the, of the rounds in the, in the box, air system. So I designed all of this up in here in these brackets and made them those. And you just tied that right into Tied that, that into the regular system, which consists of some cylinders up in there. See one in the wheel well, that round thing back there? in the wheel well. Mm -hmm. That's for the air system, but that's not enough volume, so I give it a lot more volume because you got, you got so much reserve air for my brakes. So he loves that.
Well, this is off while we were filming in the cockpit, now I got Ready? Yeah. I can hear it starting to slow down. That's about all that bottle has in it. I sanded them and put solvent on them. And now I'm going back with the blue ink, which will bring the color back. Then after that, we'll put some grease on it so it'll keep them that way. It's a game called tag in the military to find an unattended aircraft and put a sticker on it. <laughs> of course, it's not really that serious. We know aircraft aren't attended 100% of the time. But on our jet, those the inside of those nose landing gear doors are the only place that he allows the stickers to stay. Anywhere else on the aircraft, we pull them off and throw them away. You ready, John? Yeah. After uh, Randy, the pilot, flew it the first time, uh, the next day then, he said, I've got to do some more tests on it. I've got to do a lot more tests. Because I just was around the pattern, just flying it. I knew after the first flight that even though it needed lots of work still, that it was going to be a good jet. So to do these tests, he had to go to a remote area in, in Pennsylvania in the mountains area, you couldn't do it over a populated area. Looking out here, I got places to go with the jet, but boy, there I was just, I was like, I hope they really got this right. So he was gone for half, three quarters of an hour. Holy man, you don't know where he, I mean, he just disappeared, you know? Right landing gear didn't want to come down. So I get a green and a green, and then I look over the wing and this right gear was Slowly, slowly, slowly coming down. After that, there was a few more years of work that the pilot and I had to work out the details that make this air show ready. Uh, many, many details, including parachutes and hot seats and so forth. He's in the air, he's in the air, he's in the air, you know, he's in the air. He's not coming back, he's not coming back for another fix. That was... Did you ever think that that moment would finally arrive? No, no, I never did. <laughs> it got, got so discouraging there for a while. 
How'd you get through those discouraging times? Uh, just keep working.